Okay, folks, we're going to make a short little video here. This is the TCL Roku TV. The model number is a 32S321. And this TV does not come with a wired Ethernet connection. Okay, which what I did was I went and I bought this, which is the pluggable USB 2.0 ethernet adapter okay the tv comes with a usb port so that you can plug into the back any type of media device like a flash player or something to that effect uh external hard drive with media on it photos videos things like that and you can plug that into the back and the media player on the tv will play the media okay but it doesn't come with an ethernet port that you can plug an ethernet in to get a wired connection, okay? So I got it to work. How did I get it to work? What I did was I bought the USB 2.0 ethernet adapter, okay? And then I went and I bought 25 feet of Cat6 network cable at my local Walmart. I plugged the ethernet into the back which is right here, okay? Ran it around over to the TV, okay? And then hooked it into the ethernet adapter. As you can see, the lights are going, which means we have data transferring. Then I plugged it into the back of the TV. Now, prior to plugging it in, I had a network connection set up through Wi-Fi with the Wi-Fi router but I wanted a wired connection. When I went into the settings of the TV, it did not recognize or show any wired connection. It only showed that I had a network connection through wireless, okay? So what I did to get it to recognize the ethernet port was I went to settings, okay? And then after I got into settings, then I went all the way down here. Let me find it here. Uh, it wasn't that. Let me see here. Got to find where I did it. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. I went to systems. Okay. And then... Was it USB media? Yeah, I turned the auto launch on, okay? So that way when you insert the USB media or any USB item, it automatically comes on, okay? Then I went, let me see here. Advanced system settings is what I went to next. Then I went to network connection reset and then... I selected reset connection. Now, when you do that, it resets whatever connection you had in there prior, prior. It clears the SSID, as you can see, down on the bottom. And then it restarts the TV. Once it did that, when it restarted the TV, okay, then I went back to the settings and went to network and about. And as you can see, it says connected. And it's a wired connection, okay? It's no longer a wireless connection. Now, if I go to set up connection, you can set up a wireless connection and it doesn't show wired, but it is connected through a wireless network or wired network, okay? So, it worked. Uh, how well does it work? Let's go back and let's check something here. Like, let's say we'll go to YouTube. And we'll, it, this would not load if you didn't have a, a network connection of some sort. Either wired or wireless. So here we go. And loading. There we are. Son of a gun. Cute little music they play. And there we are. 
So, and we can go through and play pretty much just about anything. Okay. So, that's how it works. Hope you learned. Any questions, leave them down in the comments. Appreciate you taking the time to view.